Top here in Tennessee. Welcome to the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel. The Southeast Gassers Association rolls into their fourth race of the year here at beautiful Knoxville Dragway, just north of Knoxville, Tennessee. We're going to be focusing on A-Gas. In A-Gas, the first three races of the year, we have had different winners. Kenneth Phillips won the first race out, and he is your current points leader. The second winner was Gabriel Burrow, the defending champion, and the third winner up in Ohio was Quain Stott. But I think the top story rolling into this event is Chase Howard, who made the final in Ohio, but crashed out and now is qualified number two going into the race. The number two qualifier, as you can see, there is some battle damage on his hot rod. Chase, first of all, what happened in Ohio in the final, and then give us what it took to make this Knoxville race. Man, a lot of stuff went bad in Ohio. Uh, running in the final for the win, drove it a little too far. They prepped the racetrack on me, and I didn't know it. Uh, car dead hook, went right. Drove it a little too far, pedaled it a couple times, and stuck it head first into the wall. Uh, we got it home, assessed the damage, started on it Sunday morning. Uh, left frame rail was, was back, down. Rear frame rails were down. Spent two weeks on a frame machine. We added some more bars, stiffening it up. And apparently the car loves it. We've done a lot of fiberglass work, sheet metal work. But we are here, number two, looking home to take home that trophy, get some redemption from Ohio. I'm Lee Kraft here at Knoxville Dragway for the Southeast Gassers Association competition covering a gas. Brought to you by McKinney Corp. Rolling into eliminations now.
Gabriel Burrell is back in Sega competition and that John Cozzy Power powered your hot rod to a potential new record out here in Sega. We squeaked in there, uh, got, just got it back from Cozzy for a freshen up and uh, it picked it up a little bit. So we squeaked by the, our old, we had the record before it, like a 22 with an eight and then somebody said it 22 with a four and then 22 with a two and we're finally 21 with an eight I think now. So just a little bit, but we'll take what we can get. Track must be pretty good even after a rain delay and potentially get better going into the evening. Yeah, the track's great, and the air's for June in Knoxville in this valley. I would think the air's as good as we could ever hope for. So I think that's, I think most of the classes have a potential record right now, and I think we're seeing the, the benefits of decent weather on a good racetrack. Kenneth Phillips, the man bent over right there, the driver of the Silver Streak 2, your current points leader in Southeast Gasser Association competition in Agas, has a few more streaks on his Corvette hot rod. Now, in Southeast Gasser's Association competition, touching the wall is not counted as a disqualification. It's not counted as a boundary. He is going to be able to go on to round two, though, this year a little bit worse forward. with the wear. As a series owner, he's had a challenging day. As a racer, he's going rounds, though. This has been an interesting trip for Mr. Horn on old Rocky Top. It has been, Lee. It's um, come out, no car run real good last night. We made some real good test pass, I mean fast. And then this morning we come out, took it out of the box, and it wasn't run, and we couldn't figure out what it was. We come back and done a little tuning on the carburetors, changed, put a set of plugs in it. Uh, the car's been running pretty good. We went out. First round of qualifying was so-so. Second round, I broke transmission. Uh, when I went to third, there wasn't no third there. Um, and so I come in, I jumped out of the car at the end, tried to push it this way. And when I started pushing it, I popped something loose in my calf on my leg. Felt like somebody hit me with a golf glove, buckled into my knees. I thought I had broke, broke something. But come to find out, I think it's okay. I think it just pulled a muscle loose. Come in. Didn't have a spare transmission with me because Roby's not here. Went over to Chase, borrowed his spare transmission. Completely different gear setup than what I'm used to running. 
Uh, went out the first round, made a pass, run a real good number. Um, didn't even go to fourth gear. I run all the way through third, run a real good number. Uh, that run there was so-so, but it got me through to the next round. So we've got the two rounds here. We just limping it and just line them up, see what we can do with them. On to the next. In the staging lanes here at Knoxville Dragway, you're looking at Leslie Horn and Chase Howard. They are in the final round for the AGAS category of Southeast Gassers Association Drag Racing. And this will mark whoever wins the fourth different winner in AGAS competition this year in 2024. Leslie has made a final, has not won this year though. Chase made the final in Ohio but did not win, crashed out. He's certainly looking for redemption here on Old Rocky Top in Tennessee. The final round of Agas next here on Monday Morning Racer. On the left hand side of that car race engine underneath the hood, both cars running 477 cubic inch motors, one prepared by car race engine for Chase Howard and one prepared by Gene Ford. Fourth different winner in a gas competition. It is Leslie Horn. Finally, a win, man. Finally pulled it off. It's been golly, been what six or seven races since I won one. Hadn't won nothing this season. I've been about the fastest car ever race we went to, with the exception of Shady Side when I blew my engine. But man, to pull it off today, leave with all the obstacles I had. You know, uh, tore the transmission out and uh, second round of qualifying to hurt my leg, to Barry and Chase's transmission, then we end up having to run in the finals. Super proud of him, super proud of what he done with his car, wrecked it at the last race, tore it all to crap. People didn't realize how bad it was tore up. They worked their butt off to get it here. I told him before we went out, if you win, I'm proud of you, but I sure ain't gonna give it to you. So, and he told me, he said, is there any way I can get my transmission back? I said, give me about 20 minutes. <laughs> so anyway, we pulled it off and I, I can't believe it. I, I never, I want to give you a plug nickel. Um, after the first round to get through today like we did. And it's just, uh, it lined up for my day today, and it was my day. Leslie, Chase beat Quain. 
you beat Chase. Does that mean you beat Mr. Lucky Quain Stott even today? Well, Quain wasn't so lucky today. You know, usually he is lucky, but Quain's really lucky at everything that he does. It's just he's just a lucky kind of guy. But uh, no, it's uh, I, I'm just I'm super proud of, of Chase, and I'm super proud to be here. And I'm, I'm glad that we pulled this one off. I just really did not think that we would pull it off today. I really didn't. But the old chicken was running good. We run some really really good numbers. Uh, we went we went 21 last night, which would have been another record. Today we ended up getting down to. Uh, I think we went a 25 one time, which is you know pretty good considering the transmission was completely polar opposite of where I usually run gear. So it's got me thinking I might try a few more little little tricks and see if we can get her even faster. <laughs>